All right, I just want to get on here and shut this to y'all right quick. I feel like this is a message that everyone needs to hear. So I heard this quote. I don't even know where I heard it from. I think it was on YouTube. I heard it from a YouTuber, and it kind of stuck with me when I first heard it. And he said that the devil won't attack you when you're living a life of sin. The devil will only attack you when you're trying to get away from the life of sin. And what that means is... When you're just out there putting out negative energy, you're out there just being bad, being a bad person, not like treating other people with kindness, love, respect, and things like that. The devil not going to attack you because you're living a life of sin. You're doing what he wants you to do. It's like, for example, if you're in school and you're a good student, your teacher is never going to have a problem with you. Even if you happen to make a mistake or do something wrong, but you're a good student. Your teacher's going to look at you as a teacher's pet. Your child, your classmates are going to look at you as a teacher's pet. So anything not, anything you do can never be wrong. Whereas if you're a badass student, you're always disrupting the class. You're always being bad in class. You're always doing the opposite of what the teacher wants you to do. Your teacher going to always be on your ass. Your teacher going to always call on you to make you read a page out of the textbook. Like shit like, like things like that. Like I'm sure you experienced that before. I was a teacher pet though. I was a, I was a good student. But back to the topic, like, when you live in a life of sin, the devil is not going to bother you. The devil is not going to mess with you at all. But the moment you start trying to change, the moment you start trying to elevate yourself, the moment you start trying to grow in life, that's when he starts attacking. That's when he starts throwing these things at you. That's when he starts putting himself in the people around you to attack you. That's when he starts putting himself in your loved ones and starts attacking you and he starts attacking you because you start to run away from the life of sin the moment you start elevating yourself the moment you start working on yourself the moment you start trying to improve yourself that's you running away from the life of sin that's you pushing the life of sin behind you and trying to be better and when you try to be better when you're trying to better yourself the devil sees that as a threat to him the devil sees that as a threat. The devil sees you as the bad student in the class because you're doing what he doesn't want you to do. He wants you to be out there being bad. He wants you to be out there putting out negative energy. He wants you to be out there reacting to people, cursing people out, living in survival mode, not being compassionate and caring towards others. The devil wants you to do that. But the moment you start changing the narrative, the moment you start being kind to people, the moment you start being positive, the moment you start putting other people before you put yourself, the devil's like, bro, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? The devil's looking at you as the bad student now because you're in a class of bad students, but you're the one oddball that's being good. So now the devil is going to throw things at you to try to pull you back into that life of sin. The devil's going to throw things at you to try to get you to fit back in with the rest of the bad students. And that shit is deep as hell, man. And I experienced that all the time since I had my spiritual awakening. And I'm still going through it. And sometimes he does win. Sometimes I do get pulled back into that life of sin where, like, I may react to someone I shouldn't have reacted to. I may respond out of emotions where I shouldn't have responded out of emotions. And then to, like ongoing process is an ongoing journey but it's all about those small wins it's all about winning it's all about winning the day like i experienced this sometimes where i'll react to something i'll react to like my mom or something she says something that triggers me triggers that negative energy inside me triggers that demon inside me and i end up going off not going off but just responding a way that i didn't want to respond and after that, it's like I'm back in that mode of being positive, back in that mode of being peaceful, back in that mode of apologizing and saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to do, do better. And that's me winning the day. He may have won in that moment, but it's not about the moment. It's about those 24 hours in the day. It's about who won the day. Were you putting out more negative energy that day or were you putting out more positive energy? And that's the mentality I always try to live in. So as I said before, I mean, the devil is never going to mess with you. The devil is never going to attack you when you're out there doing what he wants you to do. When you're out there living a life of sin, of being negative, putting out negative energy, going off on people, cursing people out, responding out of emotions. Like the devil is not going to 
mess with you or bother you when you're living a life of sin. So that life of sin may seem happy. It may seem cool. It may be it may seem like a cool lifestyle because you're doing whatever you want to do. But the moment you go to that opposite, the moment you start trying to elevate, the moment you start trying to be better, the moment you start trying to not fit in with the crowd and actually put others before yourself, the moment you start doing that, that's when the devil is going to see you as a threat. He's going to start to attack you through your loved ones. He's going to start to put himself in your family members and attack you through them. My bad, my ring light hat cut off. But yeah, bro, you just got to understand that like, when you're being attacked by your loved ones, when you're being attacked by your friends and family and people around you, and you know that what you're doing is not wrong, you just gotta understand that it's for a reason. You just gotta understand that that's a part of growth. That's a part of you elevating yourself. That's a part of this journey of self-improvement. Of course, they're gonna get mad at you. Of course, they're gonna throw themselves at you. Of course, they're gonna get mad at you for things that you know you aren't doing wrong. But you got to understand that that's not them. Them cursing you out, them getting mad at you, them feeling some type of way is not them. That's the devil speaking through them. That's the devil taking over their bodies in that moment and speaking through them, trying to get you to go back into that life of sin. So that's pretty much it, man. That's all I got for you, man. Just always remember, as long as you live in a life of sin, the devil will not attack you. It's only when you start to improve yourself, start working on yourself, start trying to elevate yourself in life. Only then will the devil start throwing things at you. Only then when the devil start putting himself in your loved ones and start attacking you. And he's only attacking you because he's trying to pull you back into that life of sin. So just keep that in mind, man. And I'm gonna just leave it at that. Make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. I'm sending you peace, I'm sending you love, I'm sending you blessings as always, elevate.